I finally have some serotonin today. Hello! I'm feeling good, excited to film, and today I bring to you my March plant haul. Now listen, I know I have accumulated so many plants <laughs> this month and a lot of you are like, but girl, you're moving. And I know, I just ended up with so many plants. And I know I did like a couple of unboxings right before I moved. And um, so you've seen those plants, but then there is also a few more that you have not seen yet. So we're just going to be going over all of them today and yes safe to say that I am going to be on I don't want to say a plant ban because whatever um but I'm definitely just like going to be slowing down on the plant buying because yeah I just I've accumulated so many and I have so much stuff to do you guys do you want to see my plant chore list this is my list of plant chores that need to be done and that's not even comprehensive like that's Pro this is probably like half of what I need to do because now that it's spring there's going to be so much repotting and stuff like that so yes I am going to be a busy lady but yeah let's just get into the plants that I got let me figure out where I'm even going to sit where am I going to film I don't know nah. first I need to refill on my coffee maybe that's why I have serotonin right now my coffee Yes, lifeblood. Okay, so at the beginning of March, I did check out Valley Succulents, which is a specialty cactus and succulent nursery that we have here on Vancouver Island. It was awesome. I did a whole dedicated video on the cactus that I got from there. So I will link that. Um, I'm not going to be going over them in this video just because I already have a whole haul video on those. But I do have another cactusy it's actually euphorbia um to show you i ended up getting my wish list euphorbia now if you've been following me for a while then you may have heard me mention um this euphorbia on my wish list since like it's been on my wish list for a long time like i know i've mentioned it like a year ago but i've wanted it ever since i first saw it it's just so cool and here in canada they are not easy to find so without further ado oh my goodness i don't want it to fall over i finally got my euphorbia white ghost oh I cannot believe that I was able to get this finally. Oh my goodness, I've wanted it forever. Look at how cool this plant is, you guys. So if you are not familiar, this is a euphorbia that is basically white. Um, it's got like a little bit of green and it's kind of like yellowy, but yeah, it's like, it's pretty much white. That's why it's called the white ghost euphorbia. And it is just so stinking cool. As you can tell, I did pot it up in terracotta. This is just like a small four inch terracotta pot. And it's just in a really well draining mix with a lot of perlite. So Yes, I am so excited. I was actually able to find this locally as well. Um, one of my plant friends here is actually moving. So uh, she's like clearing out <laughs> her collection or clearing out like a lot of her collection. Um, and she has an amazing, amazing collection. But yeah, just a beautiful plant. And I was so stoked that she actually reached out to me and let me know that she had one that she was selling. And of course I could not pass that up even though I told myself I wasn't going to be buying any more plants. I just got this like not even a week ago, I don't think. Um, I really just hope that it does well. I have it in my south facing window so it's getting a lot of light and all of my other euphorbia and cactus are really happy in there. So yeah, it should, it should do well. Um, but yeah, that is what it looks like. So exciting. And then why don't I show you guys a few more that you haven't seen yet. I have a few plants from an import order that one of my friends placed and she was so kind to keep them for me until after I moved. So um, they arrived like, I don't know, a few weeks ago now and I just picked them up last week. So let me show you. First of all, I got my wishlist Anthurium and I do not have a lot of Anthurium. That's a plant that I just don't really have a lot of in my collection. Um, 
and I don't know why like I, I guess I'm to be honest I'm not like a huge fan of a lot of them but some of them I really like and this is one that has just really caught my eye and that I've really been wanting so this is the little guy that I got um, not even a little guy this is like a decent sized guy this is Anthurium forgetii and the reason that this one has caught my eye and um, just like made it to my wish list is because of the leaf shape. I just think it's so cool how it is like a teardrop leaf shape. It doesn't, it's like rounded at the top. It doesn't have like the heart shaped sinus. So, and I just love that. Like it's so different. Um, and I just find that like so striking and interesting about it. And it really sets it apart from a lot of the popular Anthurium. So I had to have it. I believe that this is the newest leaf. I'm assuming this is the newest leaf here so pretty oh my goodness i am just i love it i'm so excited it's in sphagnum moss and its roots look absolutely fantastic yeah it looks it looks really good of course it was really well taken care of while it was waiting for me um yeah i just i just love it so I don't know what substrate I'm going to end up putting this in. I'm I'm at like a weird time right now where I like, I just want to try all of the substrates. <laughs> and, and if you've been watching my last couple of videos or follow me on Instagram, then you may know that I was having like major problems with my Lechuza Pawn order. Um, so I actually just earlier today ordered like all the ingredients to make my own pawn. So I'm going to do that. Um, but now I'm like waiting to see i'm like i don't know which plants i want to put in pond which ones i want to put in potting mix which ones i want to grow in sphagnum or perlite or whatever so i don't know what do you guys think what do you guys think um i should put this anthurium in let me know but yes that is the first one and then the second one that i got from that import order is just a little tiny baby this is philodendron varicosum there he is, just a tiny, tiny guy. He only has one leaf right now. Um, there's actually a new one or a growth point or something on the way in there, if you see. He is also in sphagnum moss. And yeah, he's just hanging on, chilling. I have him in a Rubbermaid bin situation right now in high humidity and we'll see what happens. Hopefully he just, you know, recuperates and starts growing and does well, but I do also have another very small young philodendron varicosum and that was also imported I guess um, and it's doing really well now so we'll see how this guy does but yeah I really love philodendron varicosum like I can't wait until I have a big one so I have two babies now and we'll see <laughs> we'll see um, the progression of them growing up which will be really cool. And then the last guy that I got from that order is a really kind of cool and interesting one. Um, so this is what it looks like. Wow, that leaf is so pretty. Oh my goodness, look at him. I love. So this is Philodendron McDowell, which is a hybrid of Philodendron Pastazanum and Philodendron Gloriosum. So it has those beautiful um, pillowy looking leaves. So I ordered a philodendron pastazanum and um, they sent this one, which is cool because I honestly like didn't know anything about this plant. I had never really looked into it, um, but that's what showed up and I am super happy with it. It's really cute. It does have a little new growth point in there as well, right? there i think you can see it and it is also in sphagnum moss roots look fantastic and i'm really excited to see it grow um so if you look at the leaves they have some pink to them and um my friend told me that is how you can tell that it is a mcdowell i don't know um very cool though i'm super happy with this plant and yeah i can't wait until it grows up and just gets those like really large beautiful leaves i have a feeling it's gonna do really well it seems quite hardy so yeah i think this is a new leaf that it put out recently as well so pretty though okay so next are i'm just going to breeze over some plants that you've already seen um first of all i'm going to show 
why doesn't my camera like to focus anymore first of all i'm going to show some philodendron that i actually unboxed on a live stream um that i ordered from urban green room tropicals um so you can watch that live stream it's saved it's on my channel if you missed it but yeah i guess this this will serve as more of like an update on how the plants are doing so this is the first one that i got and it is a philodendron bromarx fantasy it is very small as you can see it has three leaves actually when i unboxed it a couple of weeks ago this leaf was not open yet so it's open and it looks fantastic i'm really impressed with um how this plant is doing after shipping i mean it was only it shipped here so fast it was only in transit for like i think a day so I'm not surprised that it's doing well, but yeah, it's so beautiful. And as you can see, it is putting out a new leaf. So yeah, I'm very, very stoked about this. I actually am keeping both of the plants that I got in this order in a um, Rubbermaid bin as well, just to keep the humidity up, just to kind of like, I don't know, they're just so young and they were shipped. So I just like to make sure that they are like super well taken care of and they can acclimate and grow a little bit and then I'll take them out um I actually I actually have like kind of like a system for these types of plants the last the last order of plants that I received that were like very young um and had been shipped for they were in transit for quite a while the last ones I had them in a Rubbermaid bin and then um once they were doing well and kind of established themselves a bit after a few months I took them out and I now have them in the Ikea greenhouse cabinet so it's kind of like a transition out of that <laughs> environment because the greenhouse cabinet is not as high humidity as the bin so I don't know it makes sense in my brain that's what I'm doing but um yes so philodendron bromarx fantasy very happy with it love doing awesome and then the next one that I got from Urban Green Room Tropicals that I unboxed is this little cutie right here, which is Philodendron El Chaco Red. I can hear the garbage truck coming. Um, so this is what he is looking like. Little cutie pie. Oh my goodness, I just love the red on this plant. I feel like this is a plant that I'm going to be obsessed with, you guys. It was one that was like not really on my wish list. Like I would see it and I was like, oh, like that's very cool. I would totally be down to have one of those. But then when I came across it at a reasonable, a somewhat reasonable price, I was like, okay, I need to, I need to get it and try it out. Um, and it's like, yeah, like it's like cute, you know, it's very small, but I have a feeling that I'm just going to like be obsessed with it once it grows a little bit. Um, so yeah, it's just... So it is actually putting out a new leaf, if you can see that right there, and it is letting go of this one it looks like, which is fine, um, totally cool, that's just what needs to happen sometimes, but yeah, he is doing really, really well, and I'm so excited to see his new leaf when he puts it out. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by the garbage truck outside the house. Okay, so last, I am just going to go over my Hoya that I got from Hoya Shop Canada. I did an unboxing video on these guys. Um, so since I got these like right before I moved, I have not even potted them up, you guys. They're still in these little like sachets that they come in and I've literally just watered them um, by filling up this little Tupperware and letting them soak for a little bit and then taking them out. And it's worked fine so yes but i will be potting these guys up i think i want to put them in my diy pond um yeah so i will make a video on that but let me show you how they are doing okay so this is the hoya finlay sonii looks fantastic um there was no damage on any of these like nothing really happened after the shipping they all basically look the same this guy just looks the same chilling very happy with him can't wait to pot these up this is my hoya caudata sumatra which i am obsessed with i think that this is just such a cool hoya and i'm just like i said i'm so stoked that i got it it's so cute it's, little vine is so fuzzy the leaves are kind of fuzzy too it's so cool um yeah he's doing really well and then i got this guy oh i actually wanted to talk to you guys about this guy so this was marked as hoya lacunosa uh, a different word but we're gonna call it silver um so this is marked as hoya lacunosa but people are commenting saying that this is hoya croniana 
and from what I've kind of researched it can be a little bit tricky to um, tell these guys apart and they get mixed up often so I have no idea um, I guess I'm leaning towards Croniana just because so many people have commented that but I have no idea um, let me know if you vote for Lacunosa or Croniana what do you think that this guy is leave a comment down below but either way doing very well love it you, like whatever it is i love it okay and the next is hoya bertonier which i was excited to show you guys because these new leaves that it put out are sun stressed and look at how pretty they are this is just so beautiful i have these all under my mars hydro grow lights so that gives me really beautiful sun stressing on these types of hoya now i have seen a lot of pictures of hoya bertonier where the leaves look like this so i was just so excited once i saw that mine were getting that sun stress look to it as well and yeah it's just such a little cutie i love this cannot wait until it gets more full this one actually did have some yellowing and some leaf loss um but it's giving me that new growth and whatnot and it looks like pretty healthy so i'm not too worried about it very cute i will have to repot these soon just because i like to be able to check out the roots and everything so i will do that soon probably once i get my my pond supplies do i want to put them in pond because i've never used it before so i don't know if i want to like experiment with that on my nice new plants we'll see we'll see what i decide okay and then lastly oh, what is this called again Hoya verticulata, I think. Um, Hoya verticulata variegata, I believe, is what this is called. So pretty. I absolutely love, love, love the leaves on this guy. And it's doing really well. Um, I have not lost any leaves or anything like that on this one. And it looks great. Really nothing, nothing to report. Can't wait to see it grow. These are all doing really well. So that is going to be it for my haul. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. I apologize. I did miss an upload last week on Friday. I was feeling so proud of myself because I was like, wow, I've like gone through this like whole stressful move and I haven't missed any uploads. But then of course I ended up missing an upload, but that's okay. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely leave me a comment down below. I can't wait to check with you give this video a like if you liked it it really helps out my channel also i will have my patreon my merch and whatever else links down below um all right i will see you guys in the next one bye